Welcome back to Ghost Pirate Entertainment. I'm your host, Kanan Becker, and today we do another deep dive into Netflix. And let's get to the list. The Pope's Exorcist is a 2023 supernatural horror movie. Directed by Julius Avery, it stars Russell Crowe, Daniel Zavato, and Alex Esso. The story is about Father Gabriel Amorth, the Vatican's leading exorcist, as he investigates the possession of a child and uncovers a conspiracy the Vatican has tried to keep secret. I'm here to help Julia. Run! Right. So I had so much fun with this movie. I saw it in theaters when it first came out and it was just such a blast. I didn't expect much going in because I'm kind of over the whole exorcist stuff. I'm just, it's been done to death and it never seems to be done that well even. So it's just, you know, it's kind of like with zombie movies. I'm just like, okay, unless you come up with something new and, and a new wrinkle, you know, what's the point? And this one isn't anything groundbreaking. It doesn't really break the mold or anything like that. But what it does do is just have a lot of fun with the subject. It doesn't take it serious. And I was recently watching the YouTube channel Spooky Astronaut, and she was talking about fact versus real and what really, you know, Gabriel Amorth was and, and if any of the stuff in this movie is authentic or real. And pretty much no. <laughs> they basically turned his life and him into some graphic novel superhero. And I can understand why some people are bothered by that, but I just enjoyed it for what it was. I enjoyed the silliness of it, the over the top superhero almost nature of it. In a lot of ways, it reminds me of Constantine. And it also reminded me of the director's other film, Overlord. It has a lot of those same vibes and tones of real history, but being twisted and made into something comic book-esque fun and not anything serious just action-packed wild good time so if you don't take it serious and just go in expecting a popcorn horror movie i think you'll definitely have a good time so absolutely add this one to your list Mute is a 2018 neo-noir sci-fi thriller directed by Duncan Jones, who also co-wrote the script with Michael Robert Johnson. It stars Alexander Skarsgård, Paul Rudd, and Justin Thoreau. A mute bartender goes up against the city's gangsters in an effort to find out what happened to his missing girlfriend. This barman should not punch the fucking customer. I don't deserve you, Leo. I love you so much. I went into this completely blind. I didn't know anything about this. I saw the cover, it looked interesting, and so I hit play, and I was immediately sucked into this movie because I really love sci-fi, neo-noir mysteries. Stuff like Blade Runner, I just eat it up. And is this the best thing in that I've ever seen? No, I'm not saying that. It is somewhat of a small movie, but it does do a lot of really cool things. It looks great, and the cast is fantastic. And Paul Rudd especially shines in this. The character that he's performing is just so different than what he normally plays, and I was so there for it. It's just very weird and quirky, but a lot of fun. But it's the kind of movie that takes twists and turns and keeps you guessing all the way to the end. I think this is a great time and one to absolutely check out. Run Rabbit Run is a 2023 Australian psychological horror movie directed by Dana Reed and written by Hannah Kent. It stars Sarah Snook, Lily Latour, and Damon Harriman. The plot's about a fertility doctor who believes firmly in life after death, but after noticing the strange behavior of her young daughter, she must challenge her own values and face a ghost from the past. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. It's clear there's something troubling me. 
So just off the jump, this is very much a slow burn. This is not anything that's gonna be wild, action-packed, exciting, any of that. This is more of a slow drama, dread-filled type of horror movie that really takes his time developing, but does have a lot of layers and really strong performances by the cast. I also really appreciated the color grade, just how this movie in general looks stripped of color, and it really leads to this haunting nature of this movie in general. This is a moody, awkward, uncomfortable little film that absolutely won't be for everyone. But if you're into indie slow burn drama horror, then I think you should definitely give this one a look. You are home. Vivarium is a 2019 sci-fi horror movie directed by Lorcan Finnegan from a story by Finnegan and Garrett Shanley. It stars Imogen Poots and Jesse Eisenberg. The story follows a couple that is forced to care for a child while trapped in a seemingly perfect neighborhood. Wait, no, no, I don't think this is the right way. Yeah, this is the way we came in. Number nine again. Did we just do some kind of loop? How have we just... I love this weird, quirky, bizarre movie. I've been a fan of it ever since I first checked it out. And I love the fact that it's on Netflix right now, and so I'm finally hearing a little bit of a buzz about it. Because I especially love unique, bizarre kind of horror sci-fi films because it's what keeps things interesting. It's not everybody's cup of tea, I get that but I do enjoy the creativity behind weird, bizarre movies, even if I don't always love them. But in the case of this one, I think it's just the right amount of weird, it's just the right amount of bizarre, and it pushes the limit just a little bit, enough to make you feel uncomfortable and awkward and keep you guessing throughout on what you think is actually gonna happen. But if you want something to entertain you while taking you down a strange little rabbit hole, this is a fun one and one I absolutely recommend. The Call is a 2020 South Korean psychological thriller directed by Lee chun Hyun. It stars Park shin Hai and Jeon Jeon Seo. Two women live in different times. One lives in the present and the other in the past. Then one phone call connects the two and their lives are dramatically altered. So I love sci-fi thrillers so much, but especially ones to do with time travel. Just the weird time paradox of things always is a great time to me. But I love the direction that this takes. It goes and does some stuff that is just kind of unique, not things you necessarily expect. It isn't super sci-fi, it isn't super futuristic, it feels pretty grounded, and it almost has an Alfred Hitchcock kind of feel about it. Because it takes you in one direction and then twists around on you. But I think this is a fantastic little foreign film. It does have subtitles, or they have a good dubbed version on Netflix. So if you don't do subtitles, that's fine. Do the dubbed version. Either way, I think this movie is great, and one that I highly recommend. Bird Box is a 2018 post-apocalyptic horror movie directed by Susan Beyer and based on the 2014 novel of the same name by Josh Mallerman. It stars Sandra Bullock, Trevante Rhodes, and John Malkovich. Five years after an ominous unseen presence drives most of society to suicide, a mother and her two children make a desperate bid to reach safety. Something's happened. Can you just please drive? Did you see something? As crazy as it sounds, I'd never seen this film. I heard about it, of course. It was the buzz when it came out. Everybody was talking about it. And sometimes I'm one of those people that if everybody's talking about it, I just kind of shy away. I don't even know why that is because nine times out of 10, when I finally check out whatever it is that everybody's talking about, I end up loving it too. But for whatever reason, I tend to do that once in a while. And especially back then when I didn't watch every single thing horror that was coming out. 
So when I was putting this list together, I saw that Bird Box Barcelona had come out. So I figured, okay, I gotta watch this one in order to watch that. I don't wanna watch this sequel without watching the original. And so I finally did watch this and I get it now. This is a fantastic little movie with really, really good performances. Sandra Bullock especially is just phenomenal in this. But all the performances are fantastic. I really like John Malkovich and what he did with his role as well. And talk about a nail biter keeping you on the edge of your seat. Like, this movie is intense. But after watching this, I decided, okay, now I'm gonna watch Bird Box Barcelona. And it's a totally different movie. It is, I, I don't even get it. I guess just kind of using the IP of this and a little bit of the inspiration, cause that goes in a totally different direction. And what made this movie so special, it doesn't have. The mystery element it doesn't have. It tries to clarify it, so see what this actual entity or presence or whatever you want to call it, what it is. And I just, it was an interesting idea, but it wasn't very well executed and I just really didn't enjoy it. And I didn't think there was really anything about it that I would recommend. It's just not, I mean, it's not the worst movie in the world, but but watching it after Bird Box, I think especially just made it even more of a downer because it just, doesn't even come close to holding a candle. The original plan was gonna be a double feature, back-to-back -back Bird Box, scratch that. But as far as the original Bird Box, if you've never seen it, this is one that I highly, highly recommend. And real quick, I wanna thank today's sponsor, CliffTheAlien.com. Attention, people of Earth. Cliff the Alien and his dog Buddy have been busy making merch for all Kane and Becker's fans, and they're offering a special discount for early Halloween shoppers. If you're looking for the best t-shirts, hoodies, and coffee mugs in the galaxy, visit the Cliff store today for aliens, robots, monsters, and more. <laughs> Go to CliffTheAlien.com and use promo codes GhostPirate to enjoy free shipping and Halloween to receive 20% off all items in the Halloween section. But hurry, this offer vanishes back to Area 51 at midnight on Saturday, September 30th. So what are you waiting for? Get your freak on at CliffTheAlien.com today. Keep looking up and don't stop believing. So this is such a fun website, guys. They have graphic tees that I am in love with. I mean, look at this. This is so, so sick. And their mugs, super high quality. The shirts, I mean, I've watched this and you can't even tell. It still fits really well. None of the graphics have cracked or faded. I think it's such a fun brand. And on top of that, they make quality products. So get over to clipthealien.com and get yourself some fun merch. This is seriously a company that I highly, Highly recommend. It's making something new. Annihilation is a 2018 psychological sci-fi horror movie written and directed by Alex Garland and based on the 2014 novel of the same name by Jeff Vandermeer. It stars Natalie Portman, Jennifer Jason Lee, and Gina Rodriguez. The story follows a group of explorers who enter the Shimmer, a mysterious quarantine zone of mutating plants and animals caused by an alien presence. The boundary is getting bigger, it's expanding. We're talking cities, states. You need to know what's inside. This is a movie that I consider to be just master class filmmaking. The pacing of it, the way it looks, everything about it is of the highest standard. And it's why anything that Alex Garland does now, I'm excited for and first in line. Even though his last film, Men, wasn't necessarily my favorite thing, I still just enjoy the way he puts movies together. But at this point, this is his best work. Just, there isn't anything I think I would change about it. It's full of suspense, great performances, the pacing and the atmosphere of it are just phenomenal. To me, this is how you do a sci-fi psychological horror movie. So absolutely, without a doubt, this is one that I highly, highly recommend. I mean, he's a head case. Look at all you done. What have you done to my family? Wait, 
Fractured is a 2019 psychological thriller. Directed by Brad Anderson, it stars Sam Worthington, Lily Rabe, and Stephen Chabowski. A couple stops at a gas station where their six-year-old daughter's arm is fractured. So they hurry to a hospital, but something strange is going on there, and the wife and daughter go missing. What was her name again? Perry Monroe. I'm not seeing a Perry Monroe. There hasn't been a scan since 9 o'clock this morning. So what are you telling me? They're not here. This is a really fun little mystery psychological thriller, which seems to be the theme for the most part of this list. There's just a lot of psychological thrillers on here. I didn't intend it to be that way. It's just kind of the way lists go sometimes. Things just kind of fall into place. This is another one, not a big movie, not anything, you know, game changing. But if you're someone that enjoys mysteries and psychological thrillers, this is a fun one. Sam Worthington does a great job in it. He's the main focal point of this film as you follow him trying to figure out what happened to his daughter and his wife. But he sells it well and gives a real believable performance. So this is an entertaining little gem I think you'll have a great time with. survival depends on her. Let's get to work. Awake is a 2021 apocalyptic sci-fi thriller. Directed by Mark Rosso, it stars Gina Rodriguez, Jennifer Jason Lee, and Barry Pepper. After a devastating global event wipes out all electronics and eliminates people's ability to sleep, a former soldier may have found a solution with her daughter. 15 hours ago, something happened. We don't know what caused it or why it occurred. But what we do know is that none of us can sleep. This is such a cool concept for a movie. And I'm not gonna say that they executed it perfectly, but I still think it is a good time because it definitely kept me engaged and invested in this family, just rooting for them to succeed. But with that being said, the performances are really good and it is an entertaining, fun, exciting movie. So if you're in the mood for an intense apocalyptic ride, this is a great pick. Skeleton, sir. How do we shoot? Shoot this! Hi. Huh? Warm Bodies is a 2013 romantic comedy horror movie. Written and directed by Jonathan Levine and based on Isaac Marion's 2010 novel of the same name. It stars Nicholas Holt, Teresa Palmer, and Dave Franco. After a highly unusual zombie saves a still living girl from an attack, the two form a relationship that sets in motion events that might transform the entire world. If you're someone that likes your zombie movies scary and likes them to be gory and gruesome and, and you know, intense like that, and you can't enjoy humor in zombie movies, then I get why you wouldn't enjoy this. But if you're someone that does enjoy humorous ones, and especially ones that go in weird directions and kind of have some creative ideas and make some unique decisions with the zombie world, then this one is a must see. I absolutely adore this movie because I get so tired with all these zombie movies that just feel like a repeat, retread, especially when The Walking Dead was killing it. It seemed like every weekend there was another zombie movie coming out. And then here comes this little gem that flipped it on its head, that did something totally unique and different, and it has a lot of fun doing it. This movie does not take itself serious. It is a fun kind of popcorn horror movie, but it has an enormous heart with great performances, and it's beautifully shot and directed as well. I think this is a perfect pick for your Saturday night. So do yourself a favor, pick one of the movies off of this list, grab your popcorn and your candy, and enjoy! Real quick, this is the beginning of the Halloween season here on the channel, and I wanted to give a big thank you to Leslie, who got me the first decoration for this year's horror Halloween set. This leather face, which is so perfect because I've been playing that uh, leather face online a bunch, so definitely go check out my Twitch channel. I'll put the link down in the description. 
Also, check out my second channel where all my individual movie reviews are gonna go now. And I also wanna give a huge, massive, enormous thank you to the Ghost Pirate crew, to you guys over on Patreon, and to the channel members over here. You guys absolutely mean the world to me. And if you would like to find out how you can help support the channel on Patreon, there's a link down in the description. Or if you want to become a channel member, there's a button right down there that says join. But like always, thank you so much for watching. Please crush that like button. And remember guys, horror can be fun. If you enjoyed this, click right here to watch my most recent recommendation list on Prime. And I'll see you guys next time.